While I monitored the investigation into the horrific murders of the University of Idaho students, I did not imagine the investigation would lead to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. The suspect accused of killing four Idaho college students appeared in court today to begin his extradition from Pennsylvania. This is as law enforcement give out new details about how they linked him to the murders. According to his lawyer, 28 year old Brian Koberger remains calm. Koberger waived his extradition rights today and will be voluntarily brought back to Idaho. Here's what happened in today's courtroom. Quadruple murder suspect Brian Koberger facing a judge in a Pennsylvania courtroom Tuesday. News Nation was there as Koberger arrived at court. The 28-year-old criminology graduate student not opposing his extradition to Idaho, where authorities allege she stabbed four college students, Ethan Chapin, Zena Kernadel, Madison Mogan, and Kaylee Gonzalez to death in their beds. Koberger was arrested at his parents' Pennsylvania home last week and charged with four counts of murder and burglary. The father of victim Kaylee Gonzalez reacting to the arrest. It felt like a cloud was lifted off of us. Koberger's public defender saying he maintains his innocence. Police in Moscow, Idaho say they've been monitoring Koberger for days with sources telling ABC News law enforcement linked him to the crime in part by running DNA from the crime scene through a public genealogy database. Investigators also processing this Hyundai Elantra which was spotted on surveillance near the scene. Koberger had been studying and working as a teacher's assistant at Washington State University, 15 minutes from the crime scene. Koberger's public defender says he'll be extradited to Idaho tonight. Once he does arrive there, the probable cause affidavit will be unsealed. That will have more information about his whereabouts the last several weeks and what exactly led police to him. Rena Roy, ABC News, Los Angeles.